Double homies, they ain't matter How'd you treat the game like a setup? How'd you switch lanes like a feta? Never take a bitch away, you lay up All the bitches easy like a layup Yeah, she look good, but she has nothing going I swear that it felt like the first day of summer But that's when you know it be showing Tell me, DC Blue, what's the word, man? Yeah, DC Blue and Freedom. What's, what's popping in this shit, bro? Let us know who all in the building. All right, DC Blue Music. It's Duane Naji. Uh, David, Black and Acoustic. Duane Okay, bro, I seen y'all. Look, I done checked out some of your movement. I want to tell y'all something real quick, bro. When I be listening to this music shit, it seems like a lot of groups just be put together and just made up. Y'all kind of blend in together. Y'all been doing this for a while? Don't see. Here's the thing. I'm going to let Jamar and Shakur explain how we all got together, bro. This is a crazy story. All right, let me get it, bro. Let me get it that long. All right, so basically, um, we started with Dream and Dalton last year. Um, I was only just wanted to spy it. He did a spot in Brazil, so I wanted to start a music building. Okay. So I found a roommate. He said he was willing to move in with me. Got that down, down, started a music building within two to three months of last year. He wanted to make a compilation album. So I'm doing so. A few of my friends brought other friends over. So that's like Delaney James because I was recording a basketball player from uh, college. Okay. And he knew a lot of other basketball players. So I found out Delaney, he sings that rap. So from then, we was like, let's start the group. Me and Black and Acoustic. So we wanted another producer. Two months later, we got DC Blue to come through. He started coming through faithfully. He liked what he heard. Uh. Then we got Chris, uh, Black and Acoustic, main, um, his main artist. So uh, it all happened within like six months. Three of Cradle was dead. From 2016, started with an uh, idea from January 1st, and it just became a real thing by May. Right, where y'all from again? <laughs> Shout out Alabama, bro. You know, it's a it's a lot of rap groups, man, from like the Locks. You got the Diplomats. You got new school people like the Glow Gang, OTF. What make y'all different in this shit, bro? I think... I think what makes us really different is the fact that we're not just producing. We are the artists or just people who make music. For us, each of us has a different... Uh, there's a different genre that we bring together on every song, but then we also try different styles of stuff. Yeah. I think what makes it so great is that we're versatile. We don't just do R&B or trap. We do R&B, trap, soul, country, rap. You know what I mean? Whatever you want, whatever you need, we got that big You ready to pass it out, man? Yeah, we produce so we make everything in the album. And you know, nowadays, bro, I see like a lot of diss records going on. You know, it seemed like everybody using the diss market and guns in the videos to get on. Uh, do how do y'all feel about that, bro? Let me take this. All right, so I, I've been keeping up with a lot of the beats, like you know, I watch your channel every day and watch you know DJ Academic. You know, on the casino for like all all y'all. So I keep up that shit. But for me, it's like I keep up just to know what's going on in the streets. But for us, as far as our music, we, we're about promoting positivity. Right. And, and things like that. Um, also, as far as, like, you know, as other people, you know, doing the copycat move, we're not about that either because we want to provide an original sound to the industry. Right. Is it hard staying positive, though, with a lot of guys out here leaning towards the left route? Yes. I would say it is as far as, you know, Yes, it's a mainstream aspect, though, because a lot of the music now, you know, is about guns and drugs and, you know, promoting a violent type type atmosphere. But you can always find those, like, people who are rocking the positivity and things like that. Um, and you right. should talk about real life. We just, we just made, we made it related. Right, right. Like, you make it related. Hey, yes, you hear it. You hear our music, you can relate to it. Like, it's about Mula. Right. Right. You know, 
I don't want to cut you off. I want to give you a scenario. Let's just say, you know, you guys cooling. You at an award show or something. They doing a local award show and they recognizing your talent for some local shit. Let's just say you pop off and the situation happened. Something happened where it's all, it could turn violent. How do you handle yourself out here in that kind of situation? That's real too, bro. I want to know something, man, because you know I hear a lot of stuff that's going on about this radio. I be trying to get to the bottom of it, bro. You know, people tell me it ain't so much talent. People tell me you got to have a bag of money to get in this game, bro. I want to know from y'all since y'all in the upcoming and y'all trying to get to where you want to be at. Is it so much talent based, or do you got to have money to get on these sites and these interviews and these videos and songs and studio time?